with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. All right, good evening, and welcome to the service. We finally got our mics on, and we're ready to go. All right, we hope you can stay with us. We know there's a lot of you not out visiting or going on vacation because a lot of you are homebound and hospitals and, and nursing homes and jails and so forth. So we know there's a lot of you that always tunes in regardless of what the weather is doing or what's going on. So we want you to know that, that we always think about you when we invite people to come and sing and, and have good words of encouragement for you because it can get it can get old and it can get lonely when you're kind of shut off from the mainstream of life. And that's why we need to be encouraging each other. We do not know what that other person is carrying. We don't know what the burdens they have. We don't know what's going on in their life unless they tell us. And then, you know, we can pray for them, but only God can bring deliverance. And so that's uh, what we want you to always remember how important the Lord is in your personal life. And, uh, you know, we've been talking about all the things that are happening in the world and how uh, people are getting discouraged and getting afraid and, and so forth. And, and uh, I started to read some the other night about, from Matthew 24. And it's such a long chapter, so I have to kind of break it up. So tonight I want to read some more from Matthew 24. If you've never read the book of Matthew, I would encourage you to do it. And uh, this will give you insight as to what's happening in our world right now. Matthew 24, starting tonight with the 21st verse. For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, uh, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. If any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false prophets, false Christ, and... They shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if they, if it were possible, they would deceive the very elect. Behold, I told you before. Therefore, if if they say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert. Do not, uh, do not, uh, go not forth, because he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there shall the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the Son of Man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he shall send his angels with a great sound of trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other all right we're going to stop right there but uh we we still have more in this chapter we want to read to you another night but uh like i say i really really encourage you to read matthew 24 and it tells you and over and over it warns you uh, jesus said not to let any man deceive you and that's what is happening so much today it seemed like somebody comes along with a big uh loud story and they believe it and they just assume that it's uh, truth. But 
unless it corresponds with the Word of God, then you don't believe it. You don't go following these people that say they're Christ or they're uh, a late day prophet or whatever this. You don't do that. We need to get acquainted with who the Lord Jesus really is. He is our Savior. He is with us on a daily basis, hourly basis. And so until you've experienced that, well, then it would be easy to be led astray. But so he said not to be deceived, not let people deceive you. So we don't want that to happen because, you know, in, in this world we're living in, everybody's always looking for the next big thing that's going to happen, the next big event, whatever big is going to happen. Well, the coming of the Lord is going to be our next big event, and we don't know when it will be. Only the Father knows that. But we do know that He has given us signs, He has given us warnings, He's given us encouragement and, and uh, an invitation to be ready. And so that's what we want to do, and I hope that tonight, if you are thinking seriously about where you're going to, what's going to happen when your time to leave here, make sure that you've accepted him, repented of your sin. Just tell the Lord you're sorry you're, uh, that you have sinned, and you want him to forgive you, and he will. He will forgive you. He will... And one scripture says he'll drop your sins in the sea of forgetfulness, never to be remembered against you again. And so tonight, with all the turmoil that's going on, I just feel like people need peace. And the only way we can have peace is if we have our mind and our heart on the Lord. So tonight, if you need prayer, we have phone operators, and we will be glad to hear from you. So right now let's pray father in the name of jesus we pray for those that have joined us and the ones that will be uh, with us throughout the service we ask you lord to speak to their hearts we know you love them so much more than what we could ever imagine we love our children but there's no way that we can love like you do because you are love and so father tonight give us victory give us peace for those that are in turmoil, help them to be able to lay their burdens at the feet of Jesus this night. Bless our guests and our phone operators and our workers. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So tonight uh, we have, as our singing guest, we have Billy Hewitt from uh, Columbia, Kentucky. He does have CDs. The phone number to order them is 606 606- three zero three five 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 eight and i didn't stutter on that that's actually what it is all right that's six oh six three zero three five 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 eight uh billy hewitt from faith general independent uh, churches so uh let's welcome uh billy right now good evening i'm glad to be here once again with you Hope that there's a song sung or a word said that might help you today. Or if you're lost, you might get saved. And that's what it's all about. Just uh, don't listen to how I sing these songs, but listen to the message that's in them. And uh, let God bless you. I don't want fine mansions here. In this world of sin and shame All I want to know is that I've been born again I don't want wealth or fame I don't care who knows my name All I want to know is that I've been born again As I journey through this land, there's not one who understands all the troubles and the trials I go through. But there's one way up above, looking down with peace and love, and He tells me that I've 
been born again. Once my life was filled with sin and I had no peace within. Then I read where you must be born again. So I knelt there in the aisle and he met me with a smile. Now I know, I know that I've been born again. As I journey through this land, there's not one who understands all the troubles and the trials I go through. But there's one way up above Looking down in peace and love And he tells me that I've been born again Yes, I know, I know that I've been born again hey Amen, I tell you, it's a good feeling to know you've been born again It's a good feeling to know that... Uh, Jesus Christ is your Savior. And I tell you, the Bible said, teaches us that now is the appointed time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. And we got no promise for tomorrow. Uh, we got no promise for the next five minutes, as a matter of fact. But we, uh, Jesus did promise that we'd have a place to go if we just accept Him as His personal sa- our personal Savior. And uh, He He'd gone to prepare a place for us. And there where He is, He's going to come back and take us to where He is. This next song I'm going to send out to a buddy of mine. He really loves this song. And uh, uh, listen, tonight, uh, it don't matter how many people know your name. When it comes down to the end, you better know that Jesus knows your name. He counts the stars. One and all Knows how much sand is on the shore Sees every sparrow that falls He made the mountains and the seas He's in control of everything Of all creatures great and small And He knows my name Every step that I take, every move that I make, every tear that I cry, He knows my name when I'm overwhelmed by the pain, and can't see the light of day, I know I'll be just fine, cause He knows my name. I don't know what tomorrow may bring Can't tell you what's in store I don't know a lot of things I don't have all the answers To the questions of life But I know in whom I have believed And He knows my name Every step that I take, every move that I make, every tear that I cry, He knows my name when I'm overwhelmed by the pain and can't see the light of day. I know I'll be just fine because He knows my name. Every step that I take, every move that I make, every tear that I cry, He knows my name when I'm overwhelmed by the pain and can't see the light of day. I know I'll be just fine, cause He knows my name.
tell you, if he knows your name tonight, you'll be happy when that day comes and he calls you home, amen. Whether it be by the rapture, whether it be by death, you'll be happy, amen. I'm going to send this song out to Pam Reese and a buddy of mine, her husband, Randy, we we do a lot of fishing together, him and me, and but uh, she really likes this song, so listen to the words to it. <clears throat> Coming soon, Jesus in all his glory, not just a savior, but a reigning king. Coming soon, and the whole world will be witness. Oh, be ready for he is coming soon. Once he came into this old world of sin and sorrow, and a humble babe. In a manger in Bethlehem. But this time he'll be coming in all his power. Great kings of earth will bow and worship his great name. Coming soon. Jesus in all his glory, not just a Savior, but a reigning King. Coming soon, and the whole world will be witness. Oh, be ready, for he is coming soon when he comes he'll bind the power of old satan little children with the lamb and lion will play and all the earth will be so filled in all his glory no need for crying for all tears are wiped away coming soon jesus in all his glory not just a savior but a reigning king coming soon and the whole world will be witness oh be ready for he is coming soon oh be ready for he is coming soon coming soon you know i've i've heard it all my life that jesus is coming back and he's going to return <clears throat> and I'm, I'm 50 years old but i might not see 51 amen if i don't i got a better place to go amen but if i do i'm just say i'm blessed amen just uh, he's coming soon. He he is going to return. I'm telling you, he's going to take his church home. You need to be part of that church tonight. <clears throat> As the woman walked up to the well for water that day, She didn't know the life she lived was about to be changed. But at the words of the Master, her heart was made whole. 
And as she walked away, Jesus heard her say, Living water spring up from within, lift my burdens away and free me from sin. Let your sweet spirit sweep over, I pray. I'll surrender to you this vessel of clay. Thank you, Father, for this living water flowing in me. And just like the woman at the well, my life was filled with sin. And I never know the precious gift of peace within. But at the words of the Master, tears flowed from my soul. Then my life was changed, completely rearranged. My heart was made whole. Living water spring up from within, lift my burdens away and free me from sin let your sweet spirit sweep over i pray i'll surrender to you this vessel of clay thank you father for this living water flowing in me thank you father for this living water flowing in me amen i'm telling you jesus told that woman he'd give her a drink that'll never run dry she'll never thirst again amen and i tell you we uh we need to take and uh, get a hold of some of that water today amen uh listen I want you to listen to this song right here. It's an old song, but uh, it's got a good meaning. It talks about that mansion. Amen. <clears throat> I once heard a story of a sainted old mother who lived out her life here on earth. As she lay on her deathbed, her friends gathered round her. And these were the words she said. Oh, look what I've traded for mansion. Oh, look what I'm leaving behind. Oh, look who'll be there to greet me when I step in God's sweet paradise. I'll be leaving behind all my sorrow. I'll be leaving behind all my care. For I've traded it all for a mansion that Jesus has gone to prepare. Well, her hands were so feeble and her voice was so low, but she still had a smile on her face. She said, I hear singing and they're waiting for me. As she looked toward heaven and said, Oh, look what I've traded for mansion. Oh, look what I'm leaving behind. Oh, look who'll be there to greet me when I step in God's sweet paradise. I'll be leaving behind all my sorrow. I'll be leaving behind all my care. For I've traded it all for a mansion that Jesus has gone to prepare. Yes, I've traded it all for a mansion that Jesus has gone to prepare. Folks, I'm telling you, he uh, he wants to prepare you a mansion. Amen. 
In my father's house are many mansions, Sister Margie, that's what he said. And, uh, I'm telling you, we, we have a promise for one of those mansions if we'll just uh, accept what he done at Calvary. Amen. If we'll just uh, do what he said. Amen. Get saved. It's a long and dusty road that my feet they are traveling on and sometimes oh the clouds are dark and low oh and i've got i've got to keep the faith and walk the straight and narrow way to reach that place that I will call my home For my home is just around the bend I think about it now and then Reunions by the millions everywhere but the one that I so long to see is the one who bled and died for me. My home, my home, a place I long to be. Now so many hold this old world so dear, but I am just stranger here just passing through on a temporary stay but i'm looking forward to the time when all of heaven it will be mine i'll watch and pray for it could be just any day for my home is just around the bend I think about it now and then Reunions by the millions everywhere But the one that I so long to see Is the one who bled and died for me My home, my home a place I long to be. Yes, my home, my home. A place I long to be. Amen. That's a place we all are to long to be if we're Christians. Saved by the grace of God. I'm telling you, we, uh, we ought to long to be in heaven. Amen. You know. Uh, I got people, they, you know, they got, uh, we got loved ones that's done going on and uh, to be with the Lord. And I want to see those loved ones, I really do. Uh, but I want to see Jesus, the one that died for me. He's who I want to see first. And, and uh, I'm telling you, folks, you, better, you need to get saved if you ain't saved. That's the, that's the most important thing. We're going to sing a song about mercy. I'm going to. I'm going to dedicate this song to three, uh, three women in Casey County. They're in Liberty. They're watching tonight. And, uh, Sue Stafford and, and her two sisters, Valerie and, uh, and Betty. And, and uh, just uh, listen to the words of this song. I stood in the courtroom. Judge, turn my way. It looks like you're guilty. Now what do you say? I spoke up, Your Honor. I have no defense. But that's when mercy walked in. Mercy walked in pleaded my case called to the stand God saving grace the blood was presented that covered my sins forgiven 
when mercy walked in. I stood there and wondered how could this be that someone so guilty had just been set free. My chains were now broken. I felt born again. The moment mercy walked in, mercy walked in and pleaded my case, called to the stand. God saving grace, the blood was presented that covered my sins forgiven. When mercy walked in, the blood was presented that covered my sins forgiven. When mercy walked in. Thank God for His mercy, Sister Margaret. I tell you, it's a, it's a great thing to know that uh, God's mercy is, is great. Amen. It endureth forever. <clears throat> Listen to this song, it just talks about the love of God and His touch on our life, amen. It's called Love Like Rain. I want to I wanna dedicate this to everybody that might be listening from Faith General. Uh, I tell you, we, we all need to know what give more love. Not our love, but the love of Christ that lives in us, that, that flows from us. We need to share it. Amen. What could he want with someone like me? Broken and empty on my knees. But through my sorrow, guilt and shame I heard his voice calling my name love like rain came down on me washing my sins into the sea now I'm free, thank God I'm free, His love like rain came down on me. I tasted life from pride's bitter cup. I drank my fill till it all dried up. And just when I thought I'd die of thirst, His living water healed my thirst. Love like rain came down on me. Washing my sins into the sea. And now I'm free. Thank God I'm free. His love like rain came down on me. And now I'm free. Thank God I'm free. His love like rain came down on me. His love like rain came down on me.
Thank God for His love. Amen. I tell you, we uh, we need to <coughs> we need to know that God loves us. We, you know, people they want to know why God lets this go on and why God let that go on. And I'm just going to tell you, the Bible says His thoughts are not our thoughts and His ways are not our ways. So uh, we un- we don't understand sometimes what why things happen in life, but God has a plan. Amen. I'm telling you, if you uh, this next song I want to sing, if there's somebody out there that feels like they're all alone and feels like nobody's uh, nobody loves them, God loves you, amen. And just listen to the words of this song. <clears throat> Once I stood in the night with my head bowed low in the darkness as black as can be in my heart I felt alone and I cried oh Lord don't hide your face from me hold my hand all the way Every hour of every day, from here to the great unknown, take my hand, let me stand where no one stands. Like a king, I may live in a palace tall with great riches to call my own. But I don't know a thing in this whole wide world that's worse than being alone. Hold my hand all the way, every hour of every day, from here to the great unknown. Take my hand, let me stand where no one stands. promise you if you'll get God in your life and God in your heart by way of salvation I promise uh, you will not stand alone in anything that you do he will be right there to go through with you whatever it is uh, no matter what it is I tell you <clears throat> I'm going to sing this song for uh my Aunt Judy Patton that lives there in Casey County. And I just hope it touches her. Just think about it. There's a day just out in front of us I know will surely come When that eastern sky opens wide Revealing God's dear Son. And I know from here to heaven is but a twinkling of an eye. And in the midst of all His glory, we'll hear the sweetest cry. Welcome home. I knew you'd come Welcome home You're here for good 
Now look around. Was it worth the wait? Welcome home. Step through the gate. Well, at least I know for me I'll see my mom and dad and my brothers and my sisters everywhere you look a friend. And all oh, the greetings will be great for those we've loved so dear. And no mortal life will ever see or hear what we'll hear. Welcome home. I knew you'd come. Welcome home. You're here for good. Now look around. Was it worth the wait? Welcome home, step through the gate. Welcome home, step through the gate. Amen. One of these days, he's going to say, Welcome home. Amen. Thou good and faithful servant. And uh, it's going to be. A great, uh, a great time, a great, uh, a great uh, feeling to know that uh, uh, that he uh, has a place there for us, and he's going to say, "Welcome in." But there's going to be some that he's going to look at, Sister Margaret, and he's going to say, "Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you." I tell you, it don't matter how good you are, how good you've been through life. How good you've treated people. Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. Amen. I'm going to try this one here. <clears throat> well, the Lord knows I'm guilty of living my life like there's always tomorrow for making things right but our days are numbered like the hairs on our head no man knows the hour he'll touch hands with death but you don't have to go home and live up in glory but you can't stay forever down here for all in this world that's uncertain one thing is clear you don't have to go home but you can't stay here There's a master timekeeper who died on the cross and it breaks his heart knowing hell's gain is his loss. But if your name is written in the Lamb's book of life You'll know where you're going If he calls you tonight You don't have to go home And live up in glory But you can't stay Forever down here for all in this world that's uncertain, one thing is clear. 
You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. For all in this world that's uncertain, one thing is clear. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Amen. You know, it's uh, there's one thing about it. You're gonna go to, you're gonna go to one of the two places, heaven or hell. Amen. And uh, there's no there's no limbo. There's no purgatory. It's straight there. Amen. You, uh, when you close your eyes in death, I tell you, the rich man. Bible says he closed his eyes in death and was buried, and in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments. Amen. And, and we don't want nobody to go to hell and be in torment. We want to, we want people to get saved and go to heaven. And I promise you, uh, it's everything that uh, that the Bible says it is and more. Amen. I'm gonna do this song, and I pray it touches somebody. I didn't know I was gonna do it tonight, but. It's just been on my heart. So. <clears throat> I looked the part, blending with the rest of the church crowd. I know the routine, pack a list of the Bible studies in town. I watch Christian TV. I know all the preachers and their cliches. And I've been born again. And without a doubt, I know I'm saved. But sometimes I hurt. And sometimes I cry. Sometimes I can't get it right No matter how hard I seem to try Sometimes I fall down I stumble over my own disguise But I try to look strong As the whole world looks on Sometimes alone I cry I try to speak faith Never give the devil an inch to get in. I do worship and praise. Let everybody know just where I stand. And on the back of my old four-wheel drive pickup, there's a cross and a fish for the world to see. And I know my God's good. All the time, there's no doubt for me. But sometimes I hurt. And sometimes I cry. Sometimes I can't get it right. No matter how hard I seem to try. Sometimes I fall down. I stumble over my own disguise. But I try to look strong as the whole world looks home. Sometimes alone I cry. But I try to look strong as the whole world looks home. Sometimes alone I cry. Okay, thank you so much. Billy Hewitt from Columbia, Kentucky. Uh, he does have CDs. You may order them by calling 606-303-5558. And he'll uh, see that you get uh, your CDs. So uh, a lot of good messages in the songs tonight. We appreciate them so much. Uh, here is uh, from Pulaski County, Priscilla, um, I'm not sure what the last name is, but said she loved the singer and it was such a blessing. She's so proud of him. All right, Judy from Casey County enjoying the singing tonight. Uh, Becky from Casey County has enjoyed the music. 
And for Morgan County, um, we have this prayer request from uh, Nathaniel for Donna uh, that uh, having health problems. From uh, Alcor, West Virginia, Kathy, has, Kathy Smith is called for a brother-in-law that has uh, cancer and uh, there's uh, others there that she needs help. And uh, Glenn, uh, Glenna has called for herself. She's had a fall and she's uh, hurt her head, has concussions. Mm -hmm. A mother has called uh, for uh, a son. Uh, I'm not sure what all the situation is there, but but you know, we don't have to know. They're, we are d doing what we're supposed to, with bringing our requests to the Lord. A son has called for his dad, William, uh, from Wolf County, is having a scope done, and his son is handicapped and has eye problems. All right, uh, Rosetta has called a uh, physical uh, problems, tumor and cancer and so forth. Francis from uh, Francis and Darlene from Lincoln County, uh, they both have uh, physical needs. A uh, Karen from Powell County uh, is having a lot of physical pain tonight and has asked for prayer. Darlene wants to uh, find a different job. The one she has, they're working her 12 hours straight, and uh, so she's wanting a, a better job. And uh, we have uh, we have uh, more calls coming in, and uh, let's see what. Uh, here, take that off there. Um, Wilma has called, and she says uh, she's in physical pain. Her brother um, has gone back to the doctor and says the cancer is all over him, and uh, needs prayer. And then she had another request. She's got three little pups and they're all straight away from home and she wants to pray that they come back and that she, she loves us all here. And uh, our pets can be real important to us and so we need to try to feed them and take care of them. All right. Okay, Sue from Laurel County really enjoyed the singing tonight and she has health problems. Uh, Bonnie for Dwayne from Breathitt is in the hospital, kidney failure, and has been transferred to a, a Lexington hospital. Judy from Laurel County for her children, and an unspoken request uh, from Perry County, the Campbell family. Uh, Thelma from Madison County has a real big family. She, she uh, needs help to help pray for her. Joyce from Johnson County for Jerry, uh, down in her back, she says, and hurting. Rick from Laurel County uh, uh, for a nephew from Elliott County having health issues. <clears throat> Silas from McGolfin County. Linda from, uh, is seeing a specialist, kidney specialist, <clears throat> and uh, then they have a daughter going back to Lex uh, back to Florida, morning safety there. Mary from Knox County, health problems. Uh, Phyllis and uh, Mikey and all of the f friends there from uh, from uh, uh, Laurel County. A lady from uh, Pike County has called uh, for someone, uh, Floyd. Rhonda from Pulaski has called. A wife has called for her. Her husband is failed and broken bones and um, place, two places in his back. And uh, from Bath County, an aunt has called for a nephew that has health issues. And, uh, and I'm sure that uh, there's many more of you that <clears throat> we hear from on a daily basis. We get a lot of calls in a day and night uh, for people with prayer requests. And you know, now, it is important if we are, if you're alone, you know, I like the, some of the songs talking, reassuring us that God is with us. And if we are alone at home, sick or in the hospital, you know, you, it's real easy to feel like you're isolated. 
it's not that God is moved, but we have uh, taken our attention off of him and got it on ourselves, and so we have lost contact. So that's why it's important that we are here to pray with you and for you, because sometimes you get so sick, you just simply cannot think straight to pray. And so that's, we want to always be an encouragement to you and to help reassure you, God will, he, he said he would never leave us nor forsake us. And so now if there's any distance that you're feeling, it's not on God's part. It's, it's our pain, our troubles has come up so big that it, they're kind of blocking their, our view of God. Well, it looks like we've got to pray. We're about to run out of time. So uh, let's, let's do that. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for the faith that all these people have. Lord, I feel in my spirit things are really happening in the hearts and homes of, of, of sincere people tonight. Lord, they're tired of the, uh, the uh, things that just is not real. But Lord... Your people have a hunger for truth. And so we pray that you'll bless each person that has joined us tonight and give them a peace of mind, the physical needs, the comfort that they need, and the assurance. And it is so important, as the songs and our scripture says tonight, we've got to know that our names are written down. And help them to pray, Lord. Help everyone to pray and make sure that they're saved and ready to meet you. Bless each person. Bless uh, Billy and his wife as they make their way home, that you'll give them safety and protection and uh, continue to bless and use them. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, once again, thanks to Billy Hewitt from uh, Columbia, Kentucky, 606-303-5552. To get his CDs, we appreciate him coming on a busy, a busy weekend like that it is, and so uh, we appreciate your prayers for this ministry. And we are out of time, so from all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.